Hey guys, and <laughs> welcome to something that isn't going to be a very common occurrence on my channel, but um, it's the Easter holidays here in the UK and my good friend James let me borrow his 3DS and his copy of X. So um, I gathered a few Pokemon together and decided I wanted to Wi-Fi battle for the first time ever. <laughs> and it's all I've been doing recently. It's really good fun actually. Um, so yeah, here's my Wi-Fi team. Um, Scarfed, Heliowisk, Mix. Uh, mix the Oxus speed with Life Orb. Uh, defensive Arcanine, Offensive, Espeon, Specs. Uh, the Rotom Frost was actually meant to be like Rotom mode, but I really couldn't be fucked to uh, change changed the form and go all the way to Luminosity and uh, change it and stuff. But yeah. And then we have Lefty's Terrakion. Don't ask why I have Lefty's on it. Just go with it. So, yeah, here we go. This is a battle against one of my Twitter followers and subscribers, uh, Brandon. Um, so I lead off with my Scarfer, which was Helios. Um, predicting the lead with his um, not not this thing. <laughs> so I so I, I I bolt switch the fuck out. I thought he'd leave with Greninja, but whatever. And he goes for the Shadow Sneak here because I think he predicted me to be scared of a fighting type move. Which is, is kind of reasonable. Maybe he predicted a switch to the Oxys, but I don't know. And then I go into my Terrakion here, hoping to. Fit. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't go for a fucking. Um, oh yeah, that's why I didn't go for close combat because it's ghost type. <laughs> but um, I went for the earthquake there, hoping to finish him off. But because I'm not banded or life orb or anything, it didn't quite do it. Um, but yeah, I don't have. I don't have lefties. I have let fuck. I have left these on this because I haven't grinded in the battle maze on too much. I've only got the specs, life orb, and some other stuff from there. It just it's just so tedious and ugh, it's not my thing. So anyway, because he's got the life orb, I decided to switch out into my defensive Arcanine and just let him die to the recoil damage from his life orb. <laughs> um, rather than my Terrakian staying in and him having uh you know damage well I don't know just 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 cuz basically <laughs> I actually ha I actually have um, a rocky helmet on my Arcanine because I have morning sun so I don't really need lefties on it so um, I switched the fuck out here because I obviously don't want to be scalded or hydro pump so I go straight into my specially defensive wall and he goes to the water shuriken and I, I never really see many women just carry this, even on Showdown, so it was, it was a cool little change and it was nice to know um, that he had that priority. So obviously Rotom's just fucking eating that up, because yeah. And then he has Shadow Sneak, I'm just like, what? <laughs> so he's got two priority moves in his mix, so I'm just like, right, okay. A bit bit odd, but whatever. And I missed the Willow Spear, which is annoying. I thought he'd switch out, but whatever. And then he fucking he fucking wow, he, he has the rock slide. I was like, what? <laughs> so I at this point I was kinda of salty that I missed the Willow Wisp because I probably could have lived that. And I did have the resto chesto on it, so But whatever, it is what it is. And because I'm immune to both his priority moves. Because uh, I have dry skin on the Teleoisk, I decided to go for the Volt Switch rather than the T-Bolt. As he brings in his Dragalgi, now this thing is a fucking nightmare, like, this this thing takes hits for days. You'll see in a minute when I switch into my Deoxys here. I am carrying the Ice Beam on it and I do have the Ice, uh, the, like, uh, fuck. I do have the Life Orb on it, sorry. Um, so I expected it to you know, ha take more damage, but it, it took it reasonably well. And uh, I, I was, I was shocked. <laughs> so he just eats that the fuck up, even though it's super effective. And then he, he gets a crit with the scald, which is a little bit, little bit annoying. But at least it wasn't a crit burn. But whatever. Um, so I switch out. Actually, no, I don't switch out. I go for the psycho boost here. But he switches out into his Greninja, which is a reasonable play because um, I could have just gone for the ice beam again. But um, yeah, I should have seen that one coming really. And I was really tempted to press uh, U-turn, uh, not U-turn, superpower. So I switch out fearing the Shadow Sneak, which is exactly what he goes for. Reasonable play. Uh, he just goes for the safe play. And here he just switches out again into his Dragalgi. Oh no, he does not. Sorry, he does not. He stays in. <laughs> 
Wow, my, my commentary skills are off the charts today, guys. <laughs> he stays in because his protein obviously changes his uh, type, so... And he goes to the U-turn here to get... Um, to get the thing and, and the thing. Initiative, that's the word. <laughs> so he goes to the U-turn there, and obviously he's going to bring in his... Um, he's obviously going to bring back in his Talonflame. At this point, I was like, lol, what? <laughs> Bro, you're gonna die to a rock slide and I could probably take a brave bird or some shit. But no, he goes to natural gift. I'm like, what? <laughs> so that knocks me the fuck out. <laughs> and um, you'll see why he's got, you'll, he's, he's got, he's got acrobatics. So at this point, I was just like, fuck, this is bad. <laughs> so for some reason, I go for surf here rather than the bolt switch or the T-bolt. Um, because I, I should have fucking seen this coming. So, obviously now I'm going to have to switch out because I'm scarfed. And he's going to figure that out. Um, so, what I do is I switch into my Espeon. Because it's got decent special bulk. And then I can probably take it out with a Psy Shock. So that's exactly what I do. I go into my shiny Espeon. <laughs> I called Moher after the uh, heated Mo Because uh, he hates Espeons. <laughs> Light, offensive Espeons. So... So he gets me down to about half of his sludge bomb, but whatever. I outspeed it, so I just go for the safe side shock. Really, really tempted to uh, go for the dazzling gleam, predicting the Greninja, but I wanted that fucking thing, but dead so bad. <laughs> so I switch out here because uh, I'm specs, and I think he goes for the U-turn again. Or does he? I can't remember what he goes for here. He does go for the U-turn, which was a good, a good play. <laughs> so he goes back into his, I can't even remember to be honest, I think he goes back into his Trigalgi, which complete. no, he goes into his Auxiliary, sorry, which uh, completely fucking walls my Arcanine. But I want to keep this thing around, it's, it's pretty useful. So I go into my Helios, um, seeing if he'll go for the uh, water move, which he does. He goes for the safe scald, which is a good play. So because I'm dry skin and these usually carry flamethrower, I didn't want to T-bolt because these things are quite bulky. So I just bolt switch back out into my Espeon and he gets a crit with his flamethrower. So I don't know if I could have lived it without the crit, but whatever. It was what it was, so... I get taken out by a crit, which kind of sucks, but, you know. Um, so I bring back in my Heliosk, and I think I go for the Volt Switch again. Um, as he brings in his Dragalgi. <laughs> this thing is solid, it's not even, it's, it's just silly. No, I go for the Thunderbolt here, actually. And I kind of wanted to stay in and uh, sack this. Well, not sack it, but scout what move he went for. <laughs> but uh, he goes for the sludge bomb. A safe sludge bomb. I thought he'd go for scald, predicting a switch, but he does go for the sludge bomb. So I switch out into my Arcanine, I believe, in a second, and take the move like a bitch, like a champ. <laughs> um, and then I... Uh, I think next turn he goes for a scald, um, and I kind of, I, I did a really cheeky switch into a Heliosk, hoping to get some HP back, but um, I think he switches out here or something, I can't remember. Yeah, he does switch out into, I think his auxiliary. Yeah, he switches out into his auxiliary, so. So I Volt Switch on this, um, I guess he just stayed in and sacked it. I don't know why he'd do that, but I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. So I go back into my Arcanine, I think. No, I go into my Deoxys, sorry. Because safe switching, you know? This thing is a fucking monster. <laughs> so he sends out his Talon Flame, and I do not want to be taking a priority acrobatics or brave bird from this, so I switch the fuck out into my defensive Arcanine. <laughs> Hoping to take a Brave Bird or an Acrobatics, whichever one he goes for. I think he goes for the Acrobatics. Yeah, he does. 
I guess he didn't really want the recoil, but uh, yeah. So he's going to get some recoil damage anyway from the uh, from the Rocky Helmet, and then this turn he does go for the Brave Bird. Um, racking up some nice recoil damage and the Rocky Helmet damage. So my Arcanine goes down, but it's another safe switch into Helios. So, and at this point I could probably take a Brave Bird or Acrobatics, because he does have the attack drop. So I take that relatively well. More so than I thought I would, to be honest. So I Bolt Switch out here and go, I think I go back into my Deoxys as the only Pokemon he has left is his Dragalge, I believe. <laughs> and his Greninja, sorry. Now here's, here's the point where it gets really close. I I really wanted to switch out into Helios here, but I over-predicted. I, I, um... Oh no, sorry, not this bit. Shit. <laughs> but there's a point where um, at the end of the battle um, it gets really intense. But here he get, he does just go for the priority move, which is good for me because I get my HP back. And because I outspeed him, he's going to switch out this turn into his Dragalge, which is a, a... No, his Magnezone, sorry. I completely forgot that was even there. <laughs> so he switches out into his Magnezone, which is a good play. And I can now safely bring in the Oxys again, and I do have the superpower on it, so that's exactly what I go into. And I basically smack the shit out of it. <laughs> so I KO the Magnazone right here with the superpower. Nothing's gonna fucking take a superpower from Deoxys life orb. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, so. Now that his Magnus is down, he's going to bring in his um, Greninja. I said Shininja, why would I say that? <laughs> he's going to bring in his Greninja here. And this is the point where I'm just like, shit, is he going to go for the save Shadow Snake? Or is he going to go for the U-turn? And I predicted him to go for the U-turn, and I was so happy. Because that, that was game-changing. If I had switched out into Heliosk, that probably would have killed. And uh, I would have lost to Shadow Snake, but... Yeah, this is pretty much game now. Deoxys is just fucking cleaning up because that's what Deoxys does. <laughs> so he's down to his last Pokemon, which is the Galgi, and I finally get to take this fucker out with a Psycho Beast, and that's not taking it. No way. <laughs> so that was my first ever Wi Fi battle uh, with one of my subscribers. It was good fun, um, really enjoyed the match. Um, no stally shit or hazards or anything like that, which is good. Um, so if you guys enjoyed today's uh, video um, and you want to see more content um, regarding Wi-Fi battles, I'll try and bulk record some battles. <laughs> I'll try. Um, shout out to the guy who recorded this, actually. His link will be down in the description. He's also a YouTuber. Go check him out and follow him on Twitter. Uh, anyway, guys, it's been Ellie and I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next upload. Bye.